Jennifer Lawrence stepping up the fight against gender inequality in Hollywood. A lot of people talking about this. In an essay, Lawrence says she's paid much less than her male co-stars, highlighting a much broader issue in American culture. My next guest is a leading voice for gender equality in the workplace and was recently named to Fortune's most powerful women list. Deloitte CEO Kathy Engelbert joins me now. Well, Kathy, uh, welcome to you and Thank welcome you, to the show. Great to be here. I mean, can we work on your resume a little bit? Because um, <laughs> you're the 21st most powerful woman on the Fortune list. You've been named the 50 most powerful women in New York, uh, according to Cranes. Uh, I mean, you are a woman in the spotlight. And at your company, you've got 70,000 employees. You plan to add 25,000 more. You've got not a lot going on. Uh, not a lot. It's, it's a great time, though, to be managing a millennial generation as well as still boomers and Gen X and Gen Y and now Gen Z with the digital native. So it's a great time to be hiring. Uh, we're looking for lots of different skill sets. Uh, we're probably over the, over the past year, 66% of our new hires were women minorities. We expect a similar statistic this year. So we're really Is excited. Is that happening organically or are you purposely? going out with a quota. No, this is not a quota. This is actually just the outcome of an inclusive culture that we build at Deloitte. Mm -hmm. This is not a quota. This isn't a goal. It's just an outcome of our And culture. I'm sorry to ask it like that. I mean, it, but but you do hear a lot as far as um, in the technology field in general, they're making a concerted effort to put more women in the boardroom and hire more women at these companies because there does seem to be a gender inequality. Where are we on this conversation right now? I think the conversation has to continue to be at the top of the list. List. I think companies need to critically evaluate and be measuring their advancement. Um, we started back in 1993 with our advancement and retention of women. And really, we need to drive capabilities and skill sets. And women have to raise their hand. Um, great quote from the Fortune Conference yesterday uh, was about, you know, a women's place is where she wants it to be. So women do need to raise their hand and build their skills and capabilities. Have, yeah, go ahead. I have a question. <laughs> I think. How do you know if you're a woman working in a company, how do you know if you are getting paid what a man is getting paid in the same job? That's a, Jennifer Lawrence found out because of the Sony hack mm -hmm. and the leak of those emails. And she has representation even. She has agents negotiating on her behalf. How do you know if you're getting, because you talk about equality, I think most women, if they knew that they were getting paid 20% less than a man in the, in the same job, they would go to their boss and say, hey, buddy, time to pay up if they're confident in their work. So right. how do you even know? Exactly. I think it's, it is difficult to know. You need to trust your leadership. You need to make sure if you are a leader in that company, male, male or female, and I'm sure Mike would like to weigh in, um, <laughs> you have to bring men into the conversation and make sure they understand that this is being watched, that every company with analytics today, it's easy to do analysis and determine where the gap is and why the gap is. And is it because there's a skills gap or is it because it's a true wage gap? But isn't part of the problem, though, Mike, the millennial generation? is showing up after a year or two at a company saying, wait, I should be getting paid this. Wait, I should be getting paid with that. You uh, have been at Deloitte for 29 years. You have certainly worked and earned your stature at the firm. Isn't yep. there a big it, difference there? For sure, and that, that applies to both males and females. So I, I think technology, though, is kind of leveling the playing field. You know, So a lot of workers, I'm sure everyone's not in the office on a daily basis. So I think that's getting people to realize that judging people on their work, not on whether they're male or female. But I, I'd love to hear your take on the Jennifer Lawrence thing because as as the studio negotiating with a male or a female they're trying to get the best deal for them they want to keep as much as possible so if one side negotiated a deal at nine percent which happened to be the males and one side which represented the females negotiated seven percent that doesn't necessarily mean they were saying, aha, let's stick it to the women, right? Yeah, no, absolutely not. And I think it's interesting that this conversation's in Hollywood, but it's also in the boardroom. It's also in corporates. And I was struck by Jennifer's uh, thought that she's trying to find a likable way to negotiate. This, again, needs to be less about gender, less about trying to be likable as a woman. Mm -hmm. It's more about driving our skills and capabilities so that ultimately we narrow and eliminate the gap. And Reason what was disgusting, frankly, I think, is that the woman running the studio was a woman. And she came out after she left or right around that time and made a comment about women need to be better negotiators as if Jennifer Lawrence did not have good representation. As the CEO of a major corporation, how often do you get asked the question as the mother of two teenagers, how do you do it all? Yes, a, a <laughs> lot. And there's, there's such this, you know, having it all. And I talk about having it all is defined by somebody else. Doing it all is defined by you and what you want to do. So women need to determine what kind of balance. And it's not 
linear over the course of, you know, when my kids were newborns versus toddlers. Mm -hmm. I needed a different level of flexibility and predictability than I do today with teenagers when they don't look at me when I walk Such in. Such a point. fascinating conversation. Kathy Engelbert, CEO of Deloitte, thanks for bringing thanks, the, the subject to us this morning.